Okay, hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I have a super, super exciting unboxing for you guys. Today I am going to be unboxing a ton of K-pop photo card supplies and I'm super excited. As you can see, um, well maybe you can't see, unfortunately my label is on the front and this is the only place where it says the brand's name, but this is a package from Titan Shield. So thank you so much Titan Shield for sponsoring this video. They were kind enough to send over a ton of their supplies for me to try out and review for you guys. And they also gave me a discount code for you guys. So that's really exciting. I will leave that in the description box and um, we'll talk about Titan Shield a little bit more. But first, I need to open this box. I am so excited. Um, I've actually used Titan Shield products in the past. I've used their top loaders before, but I've never actually expanded outside of their top loaders. So I'm really excited to see like what their supplies is like. <laughs> I have gotten all of the packaging off. So let's open this up and see what is, oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> They left me a little note too. Let's see what it says. So we've got this really cute card. It says, Christina here. We are so excited to have you as our spokesperson for this campaign to empower passion. At Titan Shield, we simply want to be your trusty sidekick, providing phenomenal supplies at better pricing, leaving you with more for your passion. In this box, we filled up a collection of protection supplies for photo card storage. Thank you for trusting your K-pop photo cards with us. We look forward to seeing what you create. And this is from Christina. So thank you so much. And then this looks like the code for you guys. So I'll go ahead and write it right here as well. It looks like if you use 1815 on their Amazon store, yes, all of the supplies is on Amazon with one or two day shipping. So if you're looking for some supplies for your photo cards, I know that it's like, <laughs> it's that time of year where there's tons of comebacks, there's tons of trading happening in the community right now. And I really, really value always using always having very good protection for my photo cards when I'm trading or simply just storing my collection because we spend a lot of money on photo cards. Like, let's be honest, like, let's be honest. We've all spent a lot of money on K-pop photo cards, especially this year. And we just want them to be protected. And so I, I really love Titan Shield for that reason because they value having affordable products. I did look through all their Amazon stores. Their prices are very, very affordable. And you guys get a 15% off coupon, so like that's nice. And we'll go ahead and look at all their products and see kind of kind of how they compare. I have a bunch of photo cards here, as I do. <laughs> They're all Stray Kids photo cards, but <laughs> yeah. So I have a bunch of photo cards off to the side that we will uh, we will check out as well. I don't even know where to start. So let's actually start with the top loaders. So these are the, oh my gosh. There's so much fun stuff. <laughs> Yes, these are their top loaders. Let's go ahead. Actually, are there soft sleeves in here too? Like, let's just test all of it at once. So they also send over a bunch of soft sleeves. So we'll test these first. Who wants to be our subject here? <laughs> let's use let's use Chanel Hyunjin for this. Okay, so this is one of my, my extra Hyunjin cards. What's this? It looks like, looks like their products also have a 90 day guarantee. So if something happens, you can get your money back, get a 90 day warranty. Like I said, I have actually used their top loaders before um, and I really liked them. I got a top loader and we'll get out a soft sleeve. These as well because y'all know. Oh, wow. These feel really nice. A lot of the times um, soft sleeves are super thin, which, you know, they're, they're kind of supposed to be. These feel much thicker than the ones I've used previously from like another brand. So that is very interesting. So we've got Hyunjin in here, looks like. Yeah, this top loader is super snug, which you want because you don't want them to, to move around. I mean, it's the holiday season. If you're trading a K-pop photo card, obviously I always recommend at least taping the top of a top loader when you're trading, um, but that's really nice. <laughs> that is really nice that he like will not come out because I can't even tell you how many times I've gotten trades from people and the mail was just a little crazy and um the card was like i'm sure you've all seen it the card like sticks out of the top loader because it like slipped out of the soft sleeve and top loader during shipping but that's that's very impressive <laughs> that is very very impressive Dungeon is impressed this is very very nice it says here that their um soft sleeves are 60 microns which is actually very, very thick. And you can get this entire set of like a thousand soft sleeves. Like you'll never need soft sleeves again. <laughs> Truly, you'll never need penny sleeves again. 
So looks like you can get a thousand soft sleeves for $20 before you use the coupon code. That's really nice, a thousand soft sleeves. Like, <laughs> like I don't even know, uh, wow, that's amazing. So yes, let's move on. We've got a lot of stuff to still cover here. Hyunjin approves of the, the top loader. Oh, they sent me two different sizes. Wait, that's so exciting. So there's, these are, are these standard size? Yes, these are standard size sleeves. And we also have the Japanese size, which is very exciting because recently y'all were telling me the binder for the 17 karat version that I put my cards into are not actually PVC free and standard card sleeves don't actually fit in there. So I needed the Japanese size, but they sent me some. So that's exciting. Let's try those out. I'm actually gonna do an entire other video using the supplies in my photo card binders. So I won't show you any of that today, but look forward to that video because that's also coming. We're gonna reorganize my Twice collection, my Stray Kids collection, and we're gonna do a lot of other fun stuff. But for right now, let's, let's take a couple more subjects. Oh, you know what? Because this is standard size, we have to test these with the kings of standard size photo cards, Moss Decks. This is very important because I know that a lot of Mon Bebe collectors struggle with finding um, things that fit Moss Decks card sleeves. So let's try, let's try our, our two orange haired boys. We've got Chan and Kihyun here. So <laughs> let's try them out. So I'm gonna start with the standard size sleeves. So let's do a little reading on the front here. So they're ideal for tournament use. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if K-pop stands like, <laughs> <laughs> like if we were like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon players, like I challenge you Kihyun from Rush Hour. <laughs> like, that'd be so funny. Oh my gosh, can we make that a thing? Dual surface with non-reflective, non- So these are matte cards. Tough against repeated shuffling, highest clarity, no PVC acid free, which is very, very important. You always wanna make sure your products are PVC free. So they do not damage your cards. Um, prevent bent corners, non-slip touch, protects against scratches, dirty fingers, and spills. For when you take Kihyun to your Christmas party this year, when your baby cousin comes by and like spills his drink and then you're like, oh my gosh, Kihyun. Don't worry, Kihyun will be protected. So it looks like there is one side that is very clearly meant to be the front. So that's nice. Also, there is no like logo or anything on it. I know a lot of people don't like um, when there's like a logo on the front because they don't like to see it on their card. So let's put Kihyun in here, see if he fits. Oh, he does. Very nice. So he fits perfectly. And then as you can see, there's actually two kinds of sides. I wonder what it looks like if they turn this around. Cause I know some people would prefer the matte look. I'm personally more of like a glossy front look kind of person, but it looks like you can choose with these, which is nice. So that looks really nice as well. There is a tiny bit of texture on it. I have like all of my studio lights on. So that's why you can see it this clearly, but yeah, it looks like that is super, super clear. Wow, that is really nice. These also feel super thick and super sturdy standard dual textured ones. It's $10 for 150, which is, hey Siri, what's 150 divided by 10? Actually, that's stupid. I know the answer to that question. 150 divided by 10 is 15. So it's 15 cents per soft sleeve. And again, it's prime shipping. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can get these super, super nice. And then these are, they're a hundred microns, which is really, really nice. That's really thick as well. So yes. Love that, Kihan approves. Let's look at the Japanese size as well. So if you don't know, A5 binders are all the rage in the community right now. And I can understand why, because they're very satisfying. You don't need to commit to a collection, I feel like as much as when you have like a nine pocket page you're trying to fill. So these are the Japanese size ones because normal, those normal sleeves won't fit. Like they'll fit Kihan, they just won't fit. Actually, will they fit Keegan? I don't think so, actually. You can buy bigger sleeves for A5 binders, but I don't know. I don't know. I am not experienced in A5 binders, but. So these are much smaller, as you can tell. These also look like they're dual textured as well, which is really nice. Yeah, so let's take Chan here. Stick him in these sleeves. So yeah, so that should fit in your A5 binder which is really nice. So again, it has the glossy side and there's also a matte side. So depending on what your preference is, again, there is no logo or anything on it either. So you don't have to worry about like a big logo or anything on your card. And yeah, wow, that is really, really nice. So I definitely really like these. This is, 
Here's some high quality cards <laughs> here for Mr. Kihan and Tan. Obviously, I have both of these cards already in my collection. These are just extras I have, but I would 100% store my cards in these. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so we have a bunch of card protection sleeves transparent. So I'm not sure what the difference is for these compared to the ones I just showed you. So these are the specifically designed for board games and card games, transparent sleeves. You get 200 in this pack. Very nice. Oh, okay. So it looks like these are meant to be topside down into inner sleeve all the way. We need another test subject. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we need another. So these look like they're supposed to be, if you want to double sleeve your card. Young Wan, buddy, you're up. So. Let's see. I'm not sure if this is actually gonna fit Young One. I think it might. Oh, it does. Oh, it fits Mossex cards perfectly. Oh, that's really exciting. So you're supposed to stick this top side down so it's in there snugly. And then take an outer sleeve and insert the sleeved card from step one about two thirds of the way in. So I need another one. Kihan, I'm gonna borrow you for a second. This would be nice for like trading. And then you put him two thirds of the way in and then you're supposed to use your thumb, kind of like if you're double sleeving your cards and you, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's real cool. And it's still, I was worried really because like, you know, if you sleeve your cards too many times, I feel like sometimes they can get a little dull looking, but Hyungwon still looks very good. I mean, Hyungwon always looks good, but he still looks very, very good in the double sleeve one. I'm not someone who personally does this with their cards very often, but, and it doesn't feel like, well, we'll have to test this in a, uh, in some nine pocket pages. How do these compare to like the soft sleeves we looked at earlier? I feel like these are thicker. They are, they're definitely thicker. They definitely feel thicker. So these, the penny sleeves are a little thinner than these. So these are definitely made more for like long-term storage and these are made for like, trading purposes. So let's try that again. I want to try it with a smaller card just to see like how much the card's gonna move around. So this is the same. Who wants to be my next subject? Let's do this super cute Lino card. <laughs> this is all Stray Kids and Monster decks, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Let me zoom in so you can see this. Stick Lino in here. This is definitely a little more difficult with a smaller photo card, but obviously it still fits because it's smaller. You just kind of have to like put it in two thirds of the way and use your thumb. So you don't want to push from the top, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> Carolyn, maybe follow the instructions. You're supposed to stick your thumb in there and like glide it down. Not showing that super well. Okay, so definitely a little more difficult with smaller cards, but definitely still fits. So that's nice. And then your cards are like double protected. I got him, he's a little crooked, <laughs> I got it. So yeah, so that works super well as well. And this, this Lino card, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he is not going anywhere, so. I really like these. These are like some of the thickest um, card sleeves, like storage card sleeves I've ever seen, which is really nice. I don't know why I've never tried these before. <laughs> All right, so let's take our friends here. Kenjin can't come, he's in a top loader, he's busy, but um, I traded him. Let's open up the nine pocket pages here. So the nine pocket protector pages, they're top loading pages, 120 micron page thickness. That's very thick, that is thick with two C's there. <laughs> textured back for exceptional flipping experience. Oh, interesting, I've never, I've never gotten nine pocket pages that are textured back, so that's interesting. Fits double sleeved cards high quality, non-PVC acid free, and strong straight line wielding. Whoa, this is very interesting. So, obviously it goes this way. So yeah, I am very interested to see what the cards look like in this. So, so as you can see, the backs are textured, so they're like matte on the back, which is very interesting. Very different from what I normally use, but honestly, because most things I buy don't have that friends here. So we've got our four cards here that we have been experimenting with. So we'll start with Kiyan because <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the middle there. 
So first thoughts, super snug fit. Um, I, which is a good thing. Like, I know this is also a lot of worries people have. Um, how does it compare if I were just to put like a card in there? Let's try this drumming card. Just slip them in there. I know a lot of people double sleeve their cards. Um, so this isn't an, a worry. However, that is really nice as well. He didn't move at all. <laughs> That's really nice. I know a lot of people who don't double sleeve their cards worry um, about their cards like falling out. And I've definitely had this worry as well. So that is very interesting because that was kind of a tight fit. I'm interested to see what the double sleeve looked like. It says they fit, I believe you. Also the first time you use a nine pocket, it's, it's always gonna be a little more um, difficult to get the card in, but that slipped in super easily. So. That is really nice. And then we have Hyungwon who was also double sleeved. So a Monster X card that's double sleeved. You know what's very interesting that I just realized? So Kihyun is only in one sleeve. He's only in one like of the, um, the storage sleeves that I showed you earlier. Hyungwon's in two different sleeves. And I feel like the quality of the card looks exactly the same, which is really good because you want your cards to look like, like you don't want someone to look like he's in multiple sleeves and like have the picture be super dull and everything. So you can have your card be super protected. And then also, you know, <laughs> like it looks the same, like your card's super protected and you also still can see the picture in super high quality. Like this is, there's three layers of plastic in between me and Hyungwon right now. So that's very impressive. And then we have Mr. Chan here, who's in the Japanese size sleeve. Interested to see how these compare. But I'm assuming because Jungin isn't in any sleeve. Like, that's the other thing. Jungin is in nothing. He is just in the sleeve. And I just feel like, like the difference between him and Kihyun, because they're right next to each other, there like is none. So that's amazing. You can take your photo card collection through the crazy airport this Christmas to your grandma's house and, <laughs> and your cards aren't going to fall out in the meantime. That's really nice. Wow. I'm actually very, very impressed with these. And then the backs, this is what the backs look like. So you can still see the cards through them, um, especially for double-sided cards. It's good to be able to see the other side of the card. So that's really nice, but wow. Obviously it's more of a matte finish. It, it is a matte finish on the back. So. That is so interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm very impressed by all that. And then the last thing in here they sent me, um, these look like they fit your COVID. These are like larger um, top loaders. They're three and one eighth and four and one eighth. So these are kind of nice. I'm trying to think of what I have that I would need to store in like a slightly larger top loader. So very nice. Also top loading. But these are really, really nice if you want to, um, you want to trade some larger items. I think they're supposed to fit your vaccine card as well, but I just tried with mine. <laughs> and mine actually is slightly too big, but I have like one of the, like the first ones they released. So a lot of top loaders I bought for like my vaccine card actually haven't <laughs> fit my vaccine card, um, which is very sad. Um, but yeah, so these are really good too if you wanted to trade some larger items, which also I feel like it's super hard to, um, it's super hard to find larger top loaders. People ask me all the time and I've only ever been able to find like one kind of brand. So yeah, I don't know if they sell these in bigger packs. I'm gonna have to look it up. There are a lot of photo cards in the K-pop community that are slightly too large for nine pockets. Yeah, let me um, bring everything back in the frame here and we'll we'll discuss. And yeah, that is everything that I got from Titan Shield today. So thank you so much Titan Shield for sponsoring this video. I really, really enjoyed all of the products that I got in the mail today. I can definitely see myself using these in my collection and I definitely will be because I'm gonna do another video where I'm going to be um, using all this stuff in my actual collection and reorganizing my collection. So definitely look forward to that video. In the meantime, I'll link everything that I used in this video in the description box down below. Um, and then also use the code at checkout 1815 for 15% off your order so we can all get high quality yet affordable products for our photo cards because that's what's important at the end of the day, right? Is that we have money in our bank for comebacks <laughs> and we have lots of protection for our photo cards. So 
yes thank you so much again titan shield for sponsoring this video and thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it i know it's a little bit of a different unboxing for me but i hope you guys still liked this video um let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever tried out titan shield products or what your favorite product was from today's video and i will see you guys very very soon Bye bye